man, holding people together nowadays, man, it's tough, man. Okay, now, we're supposed to be doing social distancing. I'm about to violate you. Great! Can you guys hear me back there? Yeah! Wow, man. It's nice to be in the same room with everybody again. Yes. Yeah. So look, uh, if you were here in, when did we, when did March. this craziness start? March, so, it started in March. Uh, March 20th, I was in another location and I flew to Miami. Uh, we, we had gotten some news about this whole thing happening, the economy, blah. You're going to have to work remote. This is before it was announced. And you're going to have to work remote. And your people are going to have to work remote. You need to prepare for the country to shut down and go get toilet paper and go get food products because the, the world is going to come to an end as you know it, okay? So I flew home, literally stopped everything I was doing on this project that, that we were on and um, uh, flew to Miami, had a, had a meeting with Sherry and Jared and said, hey guys, the world's about to come to an end, okay? Seriously, like I, I'm like, it's coming to an end as we know it, okay? And they're kind of like, ha, 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 you're so funny. I said, no, no, it is, it is gonna, have you ever heard of Wuhan? <laughs> they said, no, I haven't. Jared, Jared thought he had. He was, he was going back to his high school days. And, and so uh, I said, no, dude, look, this is happening. This is happening. This is what's going to happen. I sat down with them and they were like, because we were like just coming off the growth conference, oh, Kevin Hart, yeah. Dana White, people buying tickets, 1,100 seats sold at the boot camp, the world's, everybody, oh, y'all remember that? Yeah. yeah. Man, God damn, man, every, go, whoa, we were on fire. I mean, it was like, oh, Cardone about to go bonfire crazy. And then, bam, this thing happened. Okay, so I said, guys, we need to like literally look at how much of our company is going to make it. And and I started going through a list. I said, bring every employee in this company, in, in every division, every department. Again, nothing had happened yet. Okay, I'm just giving you guys the download from my viewpoint on this deal. Mm -hmm. I'm running a company. We have 100 at the time, 150 employees. The payrolls 1.8 million a month at the time. The real estate uh, the real estate payroll is 1.6 million dollars a month. Okay, put those two together. Do the math. 3.4 times 12. That's before interest on any of my loans. The interest are 40. Interest is 40 million dollars a year. Okay, so I know sometimes you hear in these meetings, and I cringe a little bit because you're like, we did 175 thousand dollars in contracts today. Yeah, we got 1,700 bucks. You guys need to understand, when you hear those numbers, uh, Bonnet did a $54,000 deal the other day. We collected one grand, $1,000, okay? $1,000 in this organization, it disappears in four seconds. And we're a small company. I'm not Google or Facebook, okay? So $3.5 million in payroll a month. So you can see why I flew to Miami. I'm like, dude. <laughs> This is, this, is getting, this is getting ready to get crazy. So if the information I had was right. So I come home, I have a conversation with these guys. I'm like, guys, we got to start cutting people right now. This was on a Thursday. Wasn't it a Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday? Yeah. I said, we have to cut. And they're like, dude, you need to slow down, dude. <laughs> okay. So we went home. But They went home. I went home. I, st I was at home. And the next day we met. And I said, guys, what do y'all want to do? And they're like, dude, we don't, we don't think this is going to happen. And I'm like, guys, we have to do this. Okay, we have to do this or we're not going to make it. So we took some of those actions, eliminated that department. Okay, hurt a lot of people. It kills me to do this. We had just brought these people on. That marketing department is literally, if anybody believes in that marketing department, why are you covering your face? Uh -huh. You don't need to do that. Dude. I'm you just six saying feet away. Respiratory drops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you would benefit from getting my, my, my droplets. <laughs> yeah, when I was growing up, man, I wanted somebody, I wanted some, some success droplets on me. So, so, uh, so we cut that division, okay? Now, and when we cut that division, not only did it affect people's lives, okay? It affects me. I don't want to ever cut anybody. Dude, I, believe, I want everybody to do well. I want everybody to make more. I didn't do this because I want to do this. I don't hire a department interview hundreds of people to bring 40 people on to start paying them payrolling them criminal back checks uh, all the bullshit we have to do legally today to hire one person is ridiculous i don't do that and then like okay quit on the activity so 
We eliminated that department. I take all the heat on the internet about it. Grant Cardone, he's a terrible man. <laughs> Gee, I knew that before you said it. Gee, I could have wrote that article myself. Come up with something new, okay? And then, then what we did was we came to you guys and cut your, your pay, okay? Raise your right hand if you were cut, okay? Okay, raise your left hand if you weren't cut. Is anybody not cut? Everybody got cut, okay? And look, man, I don't want to cut you, okay? I hate it. It doesn't feel good. It probably didn't feel good to you, right? Like, uh, shit. Y'all weren't worried about everybody else, were you? When you started, like, fuck that shit. <laughs> hey, whoa! Were you thinking about Susan? Was anybody thinking about Courtney? Were you, were you guys, did you guys think about, shit, I wonder how Alan feels right now? What'd you do? You're like, God damn. <laughs> shit. That's personal. That shit personal. That hurt, man. I thought Carl don't like me, man. So what we're going to do, the reason I'm telling you this is we want to bring everybody back to where you were. Okay, yeah. starting when? When is it, show? Woo! Let's go! Yeah. 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 Let's explain the math on it, okay? It is a very difficult thing to do. I'm, not, I'm just going to tell you, it's not an easy thing to do, yeah. okay? And you guys got to understand the kind of man you're working for. I am an extremely hard individual, okay? I know what it takes to be in the position I'm in. It is not easy, okay? I have paid attention for 30 years to everything when it comes in and when it goes out and where it goes. And whether or not this energy that came in or the energy I put out, hey, does it actually pay me so that I can produce something in the future? Okay, anybody, anybody can have this much success in life. To string it together for 32 years, never have a bankruptcy, never not pay a debt, never, ever, ever, okay, walk away from something I didn't know. It is very, very difficult. Going out, knocking on a door, making some money, getting a sale, great. Winning a, course in, a, a case in court, great, okay. Getting a degree at college, good, you can do that, okay. Anybody can do all that stuff. To string together 30 years, and be able to survive recessions, okay? I am an extremely intelligent person when it comes to money. So it's very difficult right now as we sit here, I'm just telling you, to say, okay, everybody's back to full pay when the company is getting hammered, okay? We're down about uh, 500 grand a month in income, just so you know, real income, plus a whole lot of uncollectible income going forward. And I know there's more problems in the future, okay? But, but I also know there's 330 million people live in America, okay? We're the most resilient people on the planet. I mean, except for maybe Persians. <laughs> okay. I mean, really, Persians are unbelievable people. Okay? okay, and the Romans, the Romans were pretty successful, okay? But, but you notice, if you look at those civilizations, man, Persian, Rome, look, there, there was a time when they had everything, they had it all, and they lost it because they started making mistakes. They started thinking, oh, well, we'll go on forever. We don't have to be diligent. We don't have to pay attention. We don't have to do the right things, okay? So you guys are back to your pay. Let me just say this, with that comes this, okay? You are on a ship. You're on the same ship I'm on, okay? I own the ship, but guess what? It won't matter. It won't matter when the ship, go, the ship goes through rough, rough waters. Hey, your stomach's gonna feel the same as mine. I'm not the only one that is scared in these waters. I just know I ain't getting off the ship. For you, you actually could say, shit, I'm gonna get off. Cause I can't get off, you understand? This is my ship, okay? My ship's gonna finish this trip. I did 35 years of this, I guarantee you, I will die on this ship, okay? And I will find other places to go adventure and go other places to have victories and other civilizations to meet, okay? This is my trip. And if you want to be on it with me for the whole ride, you can be. You can get off anytime you want to. Probably half of you will at some point get off and say, I'm done here. I got that, man. We'll pull into port one day. We'll drop the, what's that thing? Anchor. Anchor. We'll drop the anchor. The anchor. The, well, hopefully you don't get off on the gang walk. <laughs> the gang walk means we push you off. <laughs> hopefully you wait till we get to port and then you get off and then you walk off into the village and you get uh, some, some woman in the village pregnant and, and you settle down there and you become a, a new civilization, whatever. It's what we used to do, man. It used to be cool. Okay. Can you imagine back in that time? 
hey, new place. <laughs> Let's go visit the people. So, so uh, with this, with this, okay, because I actually am, I, I am doing this. I am doing this against my better judgment yes. prematurely. She can tell you, man, I'm like, I'm telling you, this does not make sense yet, okay? But Sherry said something to me. She's like, hey, are we going to be here in the future? Well, 1,000%. Are we going to do another 10 extra growth conference? Guarantee you. Okay. I mean, if I'm not going to do another one of those, I'm not doing the, I'm, like I'm done. I need to go home, get on a ship and travel around and, and, and not come back to work anymore. Are we going to do, are you going to buy more real estate? Oh, for 100% sure. <laughs> so am I going to do this webinar on the 28th? Guarantee you. And I know there's 40, how many people have signed up? 50. Oh, 50 right now. Okay, like, like I grew up in a town didn't have that many people. The city I grew up in did not have 50,000 people in it. So you're not going to stop this brand and, and, the, and the, 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 the desire people have. And my mission is to help people. So, and I cannot do this by myself. Every one of you is needed. Okay, but I need you. I need you right now to lean into this thing. Your job depends on what you do every day. Your job depends on it. Okay, not, not your job with me, your job period on this planet depends on how much you take your shoulder and put it against a wheel and push and get a product, a product. Okay, for us, this products are, people know about Grant Cardone, people know about our webinars, people know about our opportunities, people know about our books. I need you to do more than your job. I'm already paying you to do your job, okay? You're not gonna get a bonus if you don't do more than your job, I'm just telling you. I will not get a bonus if I don't do more than my job. Kevin Hart will not get a bonus if he don't finish that movie. If the tickets don't sell, Kevin Hart will not get the bonus. So I just want to remind you, this Wuhan thing, maybe the value of this Wuhan thing is all of you like, whoa, what was I thinking? Maybe you're all paying attention now, not to just your, your physical health. Oh, am I going to get sick? Because everybody's being told the sick thing, but are you really paying attention to like, dude, I, my job's at risk. Your job's at risk, okay? My job's at risk. My ability to communicate to the world and help people is at risk every single day. And so, and so we want to help people. I want to help you. I never want to cut anybody. If I have to, I will. Not because I want to, but because I have to, okay? So we have a team here that we want to win with, we want to go forward with, we want to get you back. I know I can go do stuff that produces money. I have to produce a lot more money to carry the group, That's right. okay? Because I could like, okay, I'll cut half the room, save myself a bunch of money, and I'll just go out and produce it. I had a car dealer tell me just yesterday, Grant, we sold more cars with half the people, okay? 400 cars with 15 people. The salespeople love it. They're like, damn, I'm doing good. Okay, I don't want to do that. I want a team, I want a big team. I want hundreds and hundreds of people working with us, okay? I'd like to get that building right over there that they wouldn't sell me. So, and fill it up with people and, 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 and literally change the world. I'd like to have thousands, tens of thousands of licensees, not a hundred. So when I get to, when I hear the numbers in the morning, sometimes you guys don't see me there. Cause when I hear we got a hundred licensees, I'm like, God damn, we should have 10,000. And everybody in this room should have sold one and got a commission on it. There's all this other stuff we have to sell, man. Everybody, every time I meet somebody coming to my boot camp. Coming to my webinar, you come, you got my book, you got this program, you got a wristband, okay? How about a t-shirt? Like, like every time I talk to somebody, I'm like, why don't you grab one of my things? Because I know that drives a little bit of uh, exchange. Once he gives me money, he has a relationship with me. The moment he gives me money, we actually complete the relationship. It is only then, okay, you guys that are on Natalie's team. You, you can call and talk to these people and help them as much as you want. You're not actually having a relationship when you just help. When they exchange back with you, you complete the help cycle, okay? They have to give you something for the help. Otherwise, it's a handout. And nobody wants a handout. Except people that have given up and lost self-respect of themselves. Nobody wants a handout. They want a little, hey, come on, you know? But nobody, they'll resent me if I keep giving them a handout. So, Remember, when they say, hey, I want something, make sure they give you something back. Okay, so that, so that we can complete that relationship or start one and we can start actually doing business with one another. Any of you want to make more money than you're making right now? Then, then back to where you were normal? Because I don't want to go back to normal. Yeah. I want to go to abnormal.
I don't want to go back to normal. I don't want to go back to the way it was. I want to go back to the new thing. And the way to do that is to produce, okay? So uh, if you don't have a list of all the things that we offer here at your desk and what it costs, you should have it. You know, whether it's something free, a free webinar that people could join this weekend. Everybody here should have got somebody on that free webinar. If you haven't, you're not paying attention. I'm just telling you, sooner or later, it's gonna, sooner or later it's gonna come out in our system that, hey, you're not paying attention. You're not sending leads. You're not helping us. You're not actually, you're doing your job. Okay? Love you guys. Love you guys. All right.